it's me again. Um, haven't done any simple lifter updates for a while. Yep, I'm an Australian uh, power lifter, so obviously there's been a few things going on in the background, but have been plugging away at simple lifter trying to make it just that little bit better. So first thing I'm going to show you are some of the changes that we've made to uh, simple lifter, the, the spreadsheet itself, and then going to go through um, a couple of things that have been going on in the background as well. So first up is the ability to set a weight class. So some feds require lifters to nominate a weight class and then having the ability to uh, to flag that during the weigh-in is really handy. So you'll notice here some of the lifters have got a red mark rather than a blue bluey mark uh, against their weight class and that's because they're, they're not within the, the bounds of that weight class. So an 80 kilo lifter but nominated as a 66 for example whereas Stealthy Silver uh, has weighed in at 77 kilos in the 84 kilo women's class, so that's good to go. Um, very, very simple. It's designed so when you dump all the data from the Excel spreadsheet into Simple Lifter, it's all set up ready for weigh in. Or right click and set the weight class. So if we set uh, Stealthy Silver to under 76, it'll recalculate uh, and now goes red until her body weight drops down uh, into the weight class. Also, if they weigh in too light, it'll also go red. So very simple way to make sure that uh, you have either nominated or uh, entered the data correctly. And for those lifters like help down the bottom here who haven't nominated a weight class, we haven't put anything in there yet, then it will continue to calculate uh, as appropriate. So if you want to set up a quick and easy competition where you don't really care, then just don't set the weight class and Simple Lifter will calculate it for you. So the next thing that we've added as well is the ability to set a multiple minute break timer. So say a lifter uh, is granted another attempt at a lift, um, spotter's got in the way and they're running at the back of the uh, back of the flight so they get a short break. The tech desk now have the ability to set that, that break timer from one to six minutes, 10 minutes and 20 minutes. Don't forget that at the completion of squat to bench or bench to dead, it will automatically flag a 10 or 20 minute timer depending on um, depending on the, uh, the number of flights. So if there's one flight, it'll automatically do a 20 minute timer. If there's two flights, it'll automatically do a 10 minute timer. All right, so most competitions are multi-session, multi-day, multi-platform even, and it really frustrated me when we weren't able to combine the results from the multiple sessions into a single score sheet to upload onto the website or, or to give to OPL. So we've now made it much easier to add a multi-session competition to Simple Lifter. Um, as you can see, I've already got one here uh, with two day, three days, and multiple sessions and it has what I'm calling the the master session here which when you click on it it will only grant you access to the live score sheet so each time you run a competition session you still log into it the same way make sure the referees are on the right platform on the right day uh, but when you want to compile all the results together it's all visible there and this one updates live as well so if you're running multiple things across the day that will get all of those uh, all of those results. Okay, so we've made a couple of changes to the simple upload bulk uplift upload tool as well. As always, make sure you hit load comps as soon as you load it because Excel won't let you run a macro on startup. We've got all of our multi comp sessions in here with all of the the letters, so make sure you type in the password. That's not the password, but you know, it could be, um, and then you do you treat each session like a separate competition as always. Um, so, put in all of your competition details. Let's just do that one now. With the PB information, we've changed the way that that works as well. And now it's just PB S B D and T on the main spreadsheet. You can type that information in, and here is the uh, cell where you put in the the weight class. So say. I know we're going to do uh, me as an example. Put my name in, um, fill out all the other information, put the weight class as 93. So then 
simple lifter will know that I am entered as a 93 kilo uh, 93 kilo lifter so click on get open powerlifting data pull that it'll take 30 seconds to uh, grab the latest information and there we go there are my PBs from open powerlifting and it'll just run through for each lifter it does take some time so if you're doing a big comp uh, yep be prepared to, to wait and hopefully Excel doesn't freeze on you so there are uh, there some of the changes that we've made to the simple upload program it works really well with multiple comps because you just copy and paste all of the lifter names in to uh, into that column here and then you can start moving or moving them around uh, all your different sessions and platforms so say someone goes from session one to session two it's as simple as changing the uh, the information on that spreadsheet keeping everything else the same and uh, the simple upload tool will uh, will work the rest out so really really handy this one especially when you're running a big comp with hundreds of lifters okay we've also made some changes to the simple lifter website in the background so this is the uh, the testing environment that i'm working on now um, everything is the same but we're just trying to tidy up the user interface make it a little bit friendlier so what uh what you get is yeah the good old test competition with password one two three four actually before we do that spectator access now gives you the live score sheet with the the lights and timers um, and it also has a embedded hyperlink to the youtube live stream video so it gives you the option to include the live stream link uh, when you're setting up the competition um, the formatting isn't there yet i i acknowledge that but this is still a uh, a proof of concept something that we're working on in the background and should be ready by the new year so if you're not a spectator then you're an official one two three four as always you get this again it's not the final uh, final view, but we're going to look for something like this. Tech desk for simple lifter, left, right, and center referees uh, for referees. Obviously, platform display lights only. If you're running a lights only competition, then that will uh, these other options will uh, will disappear. But the handy thing that we've got going on is with the the redesigned user interface. is that now the platform display in toto appears for all the referees they can see exactly what everybody else is seeing um, without having to, to look around so now you can set the screens up for the platform display only or for the spotters and loaders on the platform display and the referees can triple check who's coming up and who will be next on the platform as well so that's just a, another little change that we've made one of the features of this new website is its responsive design. If I shrink it down, you'll notice the menu changes, but also the competition list uh, all resizes to suit mobile phones or to suit a computer, uh, depending on, on how you're operating. So a couple of things like that just to make it a little bit more friendly for people to use. If you want to create a new competition, again, it's the same as the old one. Um, there's a few more options in here, things that we're experimenting with, which are going to make it easier for a lot of people. Federation, so you can so you can sort by uh, federation when you're doing results or when you're trying to find comps. Uh, the session list is exactly the same as before. Multiple sessions, multiple platforms, and you can strike out any uh, any of them that you don't need access code and email are now mandatory field so if I try to submit this you need a competition name and you need a contact email it makes it so much easier for me to, to help you out if, uh, if if we have that information so say you've got a multi session competition like this one here when you log in uh, the first thing, again, this is designed for mobile phones. The first thing that you get is uh, choose your uh, choose your session, choose your platform, and then it will give you the option to, to choose your position. So it's, again, designed to be mobile friendly. Just makes things a little bit easier for referees to get themselves set up 
And of course, there's no information in this one because we haven't input any data into simple lifter so that's uh that's what we're going on what we've got going on here uh, eventually there's going to be a whole bunch of help and updates and how-to guides and useful things i haven't really got there yet so my apologies one of the other really handy features of the the new layout, uh, the archived competition results here, you can now search and filter. So they're all listed out in uh, in order of, uh, of their starting date. But say I want to search by state. Uh, if, you know, if that state is in the title, then that's possible. Um, or if I wanted to search by federation, then that is also an option. Um, makes it so much easier again for uh, for people. Oh, yep, you can also search by month. So if I want to find anything that was in April, um, April this year, I can I can do that as well. So very very handy uh, competition archive filter feature. That we've got there. One of the other changes that we've made is the addition of the Q, QR code uh, in the top left of the uh, the live score sheet. So we had an issue at a competition the other day where basically couldn't get the hardwired projectors to load uh, simple lifter. So the warm up area didn't know where the the competition was at. So quickly added the QR code, enabling anybody with the mobile phone to pull up the QR code and follow along the competition. So it was great for coaches to load it up and understand where the lifters were at. Now, the layout wasn't great. I did this in about a half hour I had spare before the competition started. But another really handy addition, just a small change that's gonna make life a lot easier for people and give them different ways of managing a competition. So yeah, that's that's the majority of the updates for Simple Lifter for now. Um, lots of stuff going on in the background which you may not see but uh, we're definitely making a whole bunch of progress and hopefully 2024 is going to be a great year for powerlifting and for simple lifter with some of these new tools that we're bringing in so thank you very much everybody for your contributions your feedback if you have any questions please let me know and i'll do my best to answer them or to help you out cheers